One of my smartest students raised her hand in class and asked, Sir, how can we improve our communication? So I made her stand before her own self and kept a mirror in front of her. And I said to her, talk. And she was numb for two minutes. So I brought a play of Shakespeare and gave it to her. And I said, read the dialogues. See the book, look at the mirror, and you are your own audience. Deliver the dialogue. She started. And you will be amazed to know that within minutes, I have known her for years, within minutes, her communication had taken a quantum leap. And I asked her myself, do you see a difference? She said, yes, sir, I do. What is it? And she said, sir, for the first time, I just saw the audience. And what the audience is looking for, looking like and absorbing. So I said, that's the first secret. And she said, what, sir? I said, the first secret of communication is your audience. There was pin drop silence in that whole group. And I saw others picking up their pens and writing. And we did a beautiful activity that day. We made them each other's audience. And there was huge shift in the way they were communicating. Point number one about communication is the W I I F M formula. What is that? What's in it for me? What's in it for me? What does that mean? The audience is not concerned about you. Whether you are an astronaut or you are Bill Clinton or you are uh, the Jackie Chan. No! Audience is considered and audience is purely focused on their own selves. Okay? So your first lesson to understand, aspect to know is who you are talking to. What are they looking for in what you are communicating? And what makes them understand what you are doing? One. Two. Extremely simple and nothing is taught in my class which is theoretical or from some massive uh, voluminous book or from the internet. No, it's all practical. The second open secret is the way you talk. So one is who? Understand your audience, understand what they are looking for. Understand what's happening inside them with your communication. Half the battle is won. Two, how? Very simple. And I'm not talking about communication in English or French or Spanish or uh, Tamil or Malayalam. I'm talking about communication, speaking, verbal. Any language, whether you're good in English or not, uh, you could be anyone. You may not be educated at all, doesn't matter. The second aspect is speed. The slower and more deliberately you speak with every syllable coming out of your mouth clearly and loud enough and slowly is as good a speaker as you are. How? And three, what? For God's sake, keep your mouth shut. Stay silent if you have nothing worthwhile to say. What you say reflects on who you are. And you cannot fool anybody in this world from a two-year-old child to a 102-year-old great-grandfather 
nobody is a fool. So speak and say something sensible, honest and truthful and of some meaning, substance, significance. Otherwise silence is a great way to communicate. If you can better your silence should be the only reason for you to speak. So, one, who, understand your audience. You can only talk to them at their level, what they want to hear. Two, how, speak slowly, utter every syllable, slowly, clearly, and explicitly. And three, what, unless you have good substance to speak, silence is better. Good luck.